Hey gang, uh, this is another fast lesson. This one is even quicker than the last one. Simplifying Radical Expressions, Module 11 2 in our Integrated Math Textbook. And so how can we simplify expressions that contain rational exponents, which means fractional exponents, or radicals involving the nth root, okay? So simplify the radical expressions, okay? Remember from the last lesson and from IM2, uh, a to the m over n power equals the nth root, this is the denominator, times a to the m, or the nth root of a all to the n power, whichever, whichever is easiest. So typically I use this one right here. And uh, just uh, keep in mind that if this is an even root right there, this has to be greater than or equal to zero, okay? Because we can't square root a negative number. All right, let's go ahead and um, uh, review some properties of rational exponents, okay? So a to the m times a to the n, we just add those exponents. Don't change the base, you guys, so you just add the exponents, okay? So it becomes a to the m plus n. If we have it written like this, we subtract the exponents. Again, the base doesn't change, just the exponents change, okay? And then here, each piece is raised to the exponent on the outside. Here, if you have a fraction to an exponent, both the numerator and denominator are raised to that power. Here, a power raised to a power, we multiply, so a to the m, and that's to the n, is a to the whatever m times n power, n power is, all right? And a negative exponent, that ring a bell, if it's a negative exponent, you throw it in the denominator and it becomes a positive exponent. If you have a negative exponent in the denominator, then it goes in the numerator and becomes a positive exponent. If you have a fraction to a negative power, flip the fraction and it becomes a positive power. I don't know why textbooks don't put that in there, but they sure are a nice handy tool to help you solve some of these, okay? So those aren't in the textbook. All right, let's simplify the expressions. Assume that all variables are positive. Okay, so here we have the cube root of xy to the ninth, okay? So it's that xy to the inside power over outside index. Okay, so that's xy to the third, and then you can write it like that, or each piece to the third, okay? All right, so here we have the fifth root of x times the square root of x, okay? Let's put those in, in um, uh, uh, rational form, okay? The exponents, rational exponents, fractional exponents, okay? So this is going to be x to the one-fifth power. This is going to be x to the one-half power, okay? So that's what those are right there, all right? So now we're going to add those exponents because when you um, when you have a to the m times a to the n, then we add the exponents. So we're going to add one-fifth plus one-half, okay? Oh, goody, fraction, okay? So, uh, so when we add them, we have to get common denominators. Remember that from grade school? So we get 2 tenths plus 5 tenths is 7 tenths, okay? So there it is right there. Now, typically, you guys, if they start with radical expression, then end this in a radical expression. So I'm going to put this back in a radical. This is the index number, and this goes on the outside or, or on the inside if you want to write it like that, okay? All right, okay, here's uh, the next one, okay? x squared y and then quantity squared times the fourth root of y to the fourth, okay? All right, so powers raised to powers, I multiply them. 2 times 2 gets me this 4. There's an imaginary 1 there. 1 times 2 equals 2, okay? And then this 4 is the top. This 4 is the bottom right there, okay? This is 1 right here, okay? And then what are we going to do with those exponents with the y's? We are going to add them. So 2 plus 1 is going to give us y to the third right there, okay? So x to the fourth, y to the third, okay? All right, so here we have um, uh, the fourth root of x to the eighth over the fourth root of x to the sixth. Let's put those in rational exponents, 8 fourths and 6 fourths. Now we can subtract those, well, we can simplify that also, or we can subtract them, whichever way, you guys. 8 fourths is 2, 6 fourths reduces to 3 halves. Now we're going to subtract 2 minus 3 halves, okay? So we've got to get common denominator again. This is uh, 4 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is 1 over 2, okay? Now, typically, if it starts off with radicals, then end this as a radical, so square root of x right there. Okay? All right. So let me go back, you guys. Um, uh, it's understood there's a power of a 1 there. It's understood there's an index of a 2 right there, so you don't need to have them there. Okay. So 8x to the ninth and quantity to the 2 thirds. There's a, there's a few correct ways to do that. I'm going to um, represent 8 as 2 to the negative 3. 
And then here we got a power raised to a power. We can multiply those. Here's another power raised to a power. We can multiply those. So I did that right there. Okay, and then here the threes cancel, so this equals negative two. Here three goes in there three times, so that equals negative six right there. So um, uh, we get two to the negative two, uh, x to the negative six. Okay, now we don't want negative exponents as our answer, so that's one over two squared times one over x to the six. Okay, so we get one over two squared is four, x to the six. Okay, let's see. All right, so here we have uh, 1 over 4x to the 4th times x to the 12th. All that's to the negative 1 half. All right, I'm going to slide the x to the 12th on top, and then I'm going to cancel. Okay, whoops, so no, I didn't cancel. I'll do that next. All right, you could have canceled. I did that in class. I canceled these here. But here, we flip the fraction. It becomes a positive 1 half. So whenever you have a fraction to a negative power, we flip it. It becomes a positive power. All right, now, 4x is on top. Take away 4 on bottom, so there's 8 left right there. Okay, and then put that in a uh, radical form right there. Actually, I didn't, so now I can... See, I'm thinking ahead of what I did. So now, powers to powers. 2 to the 1 half power, 2 squared to the 1 half power. I multiply these exponents. 2 times 1 half is, is 1. Okay, and then 8 times 1 half is going to be 4. So I get um, uh, 2 squared. 2 to the 1 power, which is 2, over x to the 4th right there. Okay, if you are in my class, that will be your assignment. Take care.